Hey guys, so it's John Rooster with you today back with Food again for Harvest Family Season 5 and today, well, we have a lot of manufacturers. As you can see, we have Mini, Old, Austin, Land Rover, Jeep, Plymouth, Citroen, Lancia, Fiat, and Mastretta. Every single one of these manufacturers will be having a car in the finals unless there are some in here that are not listed, then we will just wing it. Anyway, let's get it started. This one is short and long at the same time, but we have 10 groups that will each put a car in the finalists. At the end of this, we're all gonna, we're gonna have 54 cars as the finalists, so it'll be nice and even. But the way this is gonna work, as you can see, we have Fiat sorted over there, we have Plymouth sorted over here, then we have some Jeep. This is technically a fantasy car, but it is called Jeepster, so I'm gonna think of it as an actual car. Then we have Mini, then we have Olds, we have Austin, we have Fisker, then we have two miscellaneous ones with Hudson, Range Rover, and Citroen, and then we have Studebaker, Lancia, and then an Alpine, and then we have Monostretta leading at the front. So, this is gonna be a fast turner and a long turner at the same time. I say we get started. Here we go, as you can see we have all the cars lined up. This is pretty much just like a generous round because a lot of cars are going to be in there. That really aren't that fast, but we'll see that when the finale comes. First up we have Mastretta, we have a Mexican supercar producer. Let's see which one is the fastest. Three, two, one. It's a close race, but it is the red one. Taking the win for Mastretta in the finale. Next up, we have three cars that do not have any other of their kind. We have Hudson, Citroen, and Land Rover. Range Rover, sorry about that. The winner of this will go to the ultimate finale. Who will it be in three, two, one? It's a close race, but in the end, it is going to be Citroen. Moving to the finals. It'll be the same deal for these three cars. We got Studebaker, I'm sorry if Studebaker is from another manufacturer. I'm really not that smart. Alpine and Lancia going at it. Who will take the win? Let's see in three, two, one. It looks like it's gonna be the Lancia taking the win. We're going on to the finale. Luckily for Fisker, they're gonna have a car in the finals either way. Matchbox made two Fisker cars in two colors. Let's see which one is faster in three. Two, one. It's a straight head-to-head -head race. Looks like the gray one's just a tad faster. He's gonna be moving on the finals. The same thing happened to Fisker. It's the same thing that is gonna happen to these two Austins. Whatever Austin wins, it will be moving on. We'll see who it is in three, two, one. It looks like it's going to be this Austin taking the win and moving on. Now we're getting into some manufacturers with more than two cars, which will be nice. We've got some old, we've got an Alpine old, well not an Alpine, it's a Pikes Peak car made by olds. We have two old donks, and then we have a Zamac. Who's gonna take it in three, two, one. It looks like the Pikes Peak car number one is going to be moving on for olds into the finale. All right, next up we've got our first round of Jeeps. There will be two rounds of Jeeps, so these Jeeps will be head to head. But first, let's just see which one is faster out of this bunch. Here we go. Three, two, one. Wow! That Jeepster is flying! That is some crazy speed from that Jeep. Who will be going up against the Jeepster? We have a Willis in this ace, which is pretty much the same thing as Jeep. And we have some Matchbox who are pretty wide. I don't know if they'll be fast enough to catch up, but we'll see in three, two, one. It looks like it's going to be a Matchbox Jeep Wagner, if I am not mistaken. Going up against the Jeepster, see which Jeep will move on to the finals. It all comes down to this for Jeep. Who is going to take it? Will it be Jeepster or the Wagner? In three, two, one. It's going to be close. It is going to be the Jeepster just edging out the Wagner. Hopefully this is a real Jeep and not a fantasy car. As it is going on to the finals. Here we go. We've got Plymouth's cars. We have two up. We have two Plymouth Superbirds, which will be awesome to see down the track, and this Plymouth doesn't even have a hood on it, which I think is pretty cool. Let's see how it goes down the track in three, two, one. Look at that, the Superbirds go flying. Not Superbirds, these are probably Roadrunners. No, never mind, they are Superbirds. But this thing is 
absolutely crazy fast. Alright, our second to last race includes a whole bunch of mini cars. They're all minis. We got one matchbox and four Hot Wheels. This one is extremely heavy. Let's see how it goes down the track in three, two, one. Look at that! It is going to be the extremely heavy mini that comes apart for some reason. Going on to the finals. We have one more car manufacturer to go into the finals in this video, then we have three in the next one, and then it's the finale, so we're getting really close. Now, for some reason, Fiat's are very, very fast on this Hot Wheels track. Let's see which one is the fastest. We got white, red, and then we got some Matchbox Fiat's there in green and orange. And then we have a main line for a Super Treasure Hunt that came out a couple months before the Super Treasure Hunt was actually announced, which is kind of weird. And then we have the false Super Treasure Hunt Police Fiat. Anyway, let's see how it goes in three, two, one. It's a close one, but it is the red Fiat taking the win out of all the Fiat's and moving on. Thank you guys for watching. We are almost done. Next video, we will put three more champions into the champions slot and then the tournament will actually begin to find my fastest hot wheel we've almost raced every single real licensed car it's actually incredible to think about over these like a lot of weeks uh that this has been posted it's been really fun to film i really hope you guys are enjoying it i will see you guys next week for the final regular week of racing thank you guys for watching hope you enjoying this series and Peace.